What's up guys? Welcome back to Inside Out Precision. Uh, before we get started in today's video, I want to let you know that we finally have merchandise available. So if you scroll down right below the title of this video, you will see a link. We have t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, coffee mugs, phone covers, all sorts of things that come in different colors, different logos. And if you want to support the channel and, and just rep Inside Out Precision, uh, now's your time. So I know we're a little late to the game on the merch. Lots of people have been asking for a long time where they can get this stuff, uh, but we finally have it. And it's really nice stuff. Uh, the shirts, you know, they're a polyester cotton blend, mostly polyester, so they don't shrink a bunch. They're well cut. It's a, uh, we did a lot of, a lot of time and effort into, into finding the right stuff. Cause I personally, I hate when I get a t-shirt and it's a large. And then after I wash it once, it's a small. So these shirts don't do that. They're well made, they're well printed. So go ahead and get yourself some inside out merch. Now, today we're gonna to be rev reviewing the option site from Option Archery. Now I've covered this site in some other videos um, where I was going over you know, the different kinds of sites which might be best for you, but I never really went into detail about what this site offers. And I get a lot of questions on it, if it's good, if it's bad. Um, and honestly, like anything, there's some pros and there's some cons. So to kind of give you an idea of what this site is about. Um, basically, in in the archery world, you have three different options of sites. You have a fixed pin site, meaning you set your pins, let's say you have five pins, you set them 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and that's, that's it. Anything past 60, you're gonna either learn how to pin stack or aim high or, you know, any method that works for you. Or you have a single pin site, kind of like on a target bow, where for whatever yardage it is, like if I shoot a target that's 20 yards and then I move to the next target and it's 40 yards, I have to adjust my sight to 40 yards. I just move that single pin down a sight rail. The last option is what you have, or is what we call a multi-pin mover, meaning it's anywhere from, you know, three to five pins and you can set those pins. At, let's say when the sight is zeroed out, those pins will be, let's say it's a five pin sight, 20 through 60 anything past that, I have to move, you know, there's a dial like on the, oh, like any of the Montana black golds or spot hogs or whatever, you move a dial and it moves the whole housing down until your bottom pin gets to whatever yardage you want to shoot. What option has done is literally put all of those sites into one. And what I mean by that is that you can get these sites in any configuration from two pins all the way to eight pins. Um, the, the thing they do differently is that the bottom pin or not even the bottom pin, you can make it whatever pin you want, but there is a pin that floats. They call it the floater pin. I'm going to try and focus on that a little bit. So that pin, you can see as I spin this knob, that pin runs up and down. So I can literally make this so this is, this is a five fixed pin or a four fixed pin site with the fifth pin as the floater. Meaning I will set these pins for 20, 30, 40, 50. And then this last pin, I can literally set wherever I want. So if, I, if I'm out hunting and you know, I get out of the truck, I start walking, I'm gonna set this last pin at 60. So now I have a fixed five pin site, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. If a buck stands up when I'm hiking along and he's 42 yards away and I don't have time to range him and shoot him, I have, you know, a, a 40 and a 50 yard pin. I can gap shoot him. Now, let's say that that buck is bedded down and I see him, he doesn't see me, I have all the time in the world. I can actually flip, it does, they have this really cool magnetic guard here that closes and opens and that's where your fixed pins are on. I can open that up and now I just have a single pin sight that I can run, focus on that. I can run that pin to whatever yardage I want. And anybody who's shot a single pin sight knows that the benefit of that is you have a very clear uh, target picture basically. Like I don't have a bunch of pins clogging up my, my sight picture. Um, you know, if I get an eight pin sight and I, I have 20 through 90, that's a lot of pins, it's easy to miss pin. But if I have a single pin, I can just run that pin down to, like I said, let's say that buck is 42 yards. I can run my pin right to 42 and just aim right at his heart rather than aiming 
you know, a little bit high with my 40 and a little low with my 50. Um, so, like I said, they, they've literally combined a, a single pin movable sight with a fixed pin sight if I need it. Now, what this sight really does differently than, than others is, like let's say, uh, for example, I shoot a Montana black gold mountain light. Um, when my sight is run all the way up, that's when my pins are zeroed at 20, 30, 40. If I'm out shooting 80 yards, I've moved my whole sight housing down in order to get my bottom pin to 80 yards. Now, if I'm shooting 80 yards and then I forget to zero my sight back out, like I just put my bow in my case and the next morning I go hunting, if I don't zero my sight back out, if a buck walks out at 20 yards, my top pin is no longer 20 yards. It's like 60 or 70 and I'm gonna shoot six feet over that thing's back. Whereas on this, when I move my, my individual pin, the housing has not changed at all. My fixed pins always stay in the exact same position. So it eliminates that possibility of making a mistake and you know, forgetting to re-zero my sight. Um, in terms of construction, this thing is extremely well built. It's made in the USA, all machined aluminum. Uh, this, this little guard here is actually magnetic. So it, it shuts and it's not, it's, not, it's not hard to open, it's not easy to open either. It requires just the right amount of force to move those pins out of the way if I need to. Um, and like I said, it's, it gives you the best of both worlds. You have that single pin if you need it for precision. Like let's say you're at a 3D shoot and you range the target and it's, you know, 39 yards. Well, I can just set my single pin right to 39, flip these out of the way and just aim at it like I would with, a, with the target setup. Conversely, I can leave all these pins set you know, 20, let's say 20 through 60. And now I have a fixed five pin sight. So if I need to, I can acquire a target really quickly, pin gap it and shoot it. Um, now you may be looking at this thinking like, why is the sight housing oval? So this is actually the eight pin sight housing, but we custom ordered them with only four fixed pins and the fifth pin as the floater. And the reason for that is because I can get more distance with a larger sight housing, I can run that pin lower and get more distance. They make this in a round sight housing, but you're probably only gonna get about 68 to 80 yards, depending on how fast your bow is shooting. With this larger pin housing or sight housing, I can get this pin, again, depending on how fast your bow is, I can get it all the way down to 80 or 90 yards. Um, if you'll notice here, the single pin has a fiber wrap, so, there's the single pin, right? Oh, I gotta run that up a little bit for you. Yeah, so the single pin is right there. On the back side of it, it has this wrap. So it collects a ton of light. This side is insanely bright. The pin guard also has a fiber optic wrap right here. All the pins glow extremely well. Um, now, the oval sight shape can kind of cause some issues with some people. Um, we standardly install like 3 uh, aperture peeps, peep sights in people's strings. Now for your average shooter, you know, anywhere from like 27 to 29 inches, usually with this oval peep sight, you can either see the top of the sight or the bottom of the sight, but not both. So people have had to go to a larger peep sight, like a, a quarter inch or 5 sixteenths in order to get the entire sight in their peep sight which for some people, it honestly kind of throws them off, having an oval sight and a round peep. Uh, Dan Evans has tried to make an oval peep sight to fit this, but it keeps cutting the strands on strings. Um, so for right now, we're still kind of relegated to the, the round peep sight. Now, personally, I, I have tried shooting this sight. I, I love the concept of it. It's, I've just spent so long shooting a target bow and my other bow with, you know, where my peep just halos my front sight, it's hard for me to get used to the oval sight in a round peep. Now, like I said, my boss and his son both shoot this for hunting. They have no issues with it. They've killed a lot more stuff than I have. And it's, it's a very well-made sight. Uh, you have an adjustable second axis, an adjustable third axis on the bubble here, all micro adjustable on your, your windage and elevation. Um, on top of that, I can actually adjust, like you can, 
eh, it's kind of hard to see on this, but like if this pin is a little right or left of the other pins, there's a little set screw in here that I can loosen and actually slide that pin in and out to where it lines up perfectly with my other pins. So it's got all types of adjustability. Um, you know, I can run the housing in multiple different positions here. Um, generally, when you sight these in, you know, you're gonna run that, that floater pin all the way to the top like that and sight in at your 20. Then you're gonna, so they have a calibration tape, just like a spot hog. So you sight in at 20, sight in at 50 on the calibration tape, that will tell you which sight tape to use. Once you get that sight tape on there, I can literally close the housing and just line up each pin. So like, let's say I'm sighting in my 20, I'll line up my 20 with the top pin, then I'll roll my floater down to 30 on the side tape and line up my 30 yard pin with that, roll it down to 40, line up my 40 yard pin, so on and so forth. Um, so like I said, they have a lot of different pin configurations. You can get a round sight. If I was gonna never shoot past 60 yards, but still wanted a precision adjustment with a single pin, I would definitely just get the round housing. I'm not gonna be able to shoot 80, 90 yards, but for a hunting purpose, you know, anything from 20 to 60, you're still gonna have all the, the adjustability and the options of this larger head. It's just gonna be a little bit smaller round housing. Um, so it's a really, really cool sight. Like I said, I can have a single, I can have a single pin, I can have a fixed five pin, so 20, 30, 40, 50, I can run that pin down to 60. And then if I want, like, let's say there's a buck or a bull standing at 70, I can just run this down to 70. I don't have to open it up. I can just leave those pins there if I want and, and shoot it for that. Um, you know, one thing, when I shot the Fast Eddie that just had a single pin, you know, if I drew back on a deer, like especially mule deer, like everybody knows mule deer are, are known for that little like two bound hop and then they turn around and look at you like if i draw back and my sight's set for 35 let's say and then he does that little hop and look turns around and looks at me and now he's 48 or 50 yards i better know how high to aim or i have to let down reset my sight and then draw back again which they're probably not going to let you get away with by having these fixed pins let's say you know i shoot him or i draw back and he's 35 and then he bounces out to 45 well, I have a 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 yard pin, so I can just raise up to the next pin and shoot him. So it's a really cool sight. I mean, it's, it's well made, it's well thought out. They're, I wouldn't, I mean, like any sight, they're not indestructible, but you gotta do something pretty severe to hurt this thing. So if you haven't had a chance to go check out Option Sights, go to their website. Like I said, there's all different sorts of, of sight housings and pin configurations that you can do. And it really does give you the option of whatever kind of site you want to run. So go check it out. Again, Option Archery, they make this, they make the Quivalizer. Dan Evans, if you don't know who he is, he's killed probably more bulls over 350 than almost anybody I know. And uh, he's got a great product here. So if you have any more questions on this, I know that was a lot to digest all at one time, but hit that comment section below. Um, Instagram me, whatever you got to do. Um, I try to get to every comment that comes through. So as usual, guys, keep them in the middle. Precision is the decision, and I'll see you on the range.